Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be doing our first flight of the DJI Spark. But before I do that, I kind of wanted to jump in here because I've already flown it. Actually, I've flown it a number of times already. Uh, but this video, I'm kind of racing some weather, so I didn't get a lot of time in the field to kind of talk about it. And one of the things I kind of want to precursor the video a little bit with... Um, what experiences I felt because this was literally I got the copter I set it up rushed out tried flying it and ran into a number of bumps and that's why I kind of want to do this little bit of prequel or setup for the video so one of the first things I discovered is there's a big difference between the DJI Go app and the DJI Go 4 app now I've been flying the Phantom 3 for quite a while that uses the DJI uh, Go app and if I uh, kind of start this up I have both of the apps on here uh, this doesn't want to let go uh, but you can see here that went well, I probably turned it this way so I've got the Go app which I use for the Phantom 3 and I'm used to and then here's the DJI Go 4 app now the 4 app is what you use for this guy and it has a bit of a different UI I didn't expect such a different UI so that was one of the first things so if you are a Phantom 3 pilot and if you are used to using the DJI Go app you're going to have to do a little bit of ad adaptation to this, which I wasn't expecting that much. So that being said, the other piece is when you first go out to fly or first set this up, figure to give yourself at least an hour. I had to do firmware upgrades on this. Uh, there was a lot of setup this thing asked. It, it kept complaining about uh, I had relocated its Wi-Fi, so it was going to have to set up new fly zone maps. Um, and I had to switch back and forth between internet connection and the connection to uh, this bird. Um, I think I've, I think I know of a better way to do this. I'm going to cover that in another video, so I'm not going to go into it here. But just be forewarned, it's going to take you at least an hour or so to set this up. Uh, I think as you have already seen, I did a video on setting up the prop guards. That was a little bit unexpected too, on how that went went together. So, uh, uh, but did go together good. Um, the stick setup. Now, I accepted the defaults and everything for the stick setup, but you'll notice in the video that they ended up backwards. I'm not sure if that was my fault or a configuration um, in the, you know, a default configuration in the software. I'm not sure. I had to go back and reset these up. Uh, now, what I also did is I spent some time just kind of setting this up after that first flight. So this first flight you're going to see in this video is just really raw first flight and what you can kind of expect. Now, the thing is, one of the, the big pieces with this, this thing is extremely docile when it's not in sport mode, which is really great. And uh, I, I'm actually ironically very excited about that because most people say, hey, I want to race this thing around. And, you know, again, when you get out of the box, not in flight mode, it's like really pathetic. Uh, or at least that's what it seems. But if you're going to shoot video with it, you want it to be somewhat pathetic per se, because you don't want it jerking around and flying into things. And um, again, you know, you'll, you'll see me yaw this. Those are full stick yaws. In other words, I've pushed this stick all the way to the max, and you'll see how slow it is. Also, the forward and back motion, very, very slow. Now, again, you switch it to sport mode, it changes the game, but it's a whole different copter for... Um, tight video you definitely want it out of sport mode and i think it'll do a huge job my initial opinions of this youtube video copter that's it this is what this is geared for um, i think this will be will find a home in many many people's hearts for creating youtube videos because again uh, my seven-year-old grandson could easily follow, fly this in its sort of what I'm going to call its docile mode because it does move so slow and it does have such good specific control. And I'll do some more videos, obviously, in the future on this. Um, the, you know, in the 1080p is, again, in my opinion, a perfect YouTube um format because 4k is just just too much uh, i look at the statistics for you guys out there and almost 90 percent of you guys watch these videos on some sort of mobile device so um, you know me taking literally for me to upload a 4k video sometimes takes up to two days to upload a 4k i think i've only done it twice because it is so painful and i have comcast internet and it's supposed to be somewhat decent um 
But, you know, again, I think in the future, when more of the YouTube starts migrating to actual television sets, 4K television sets, that might change. But for now, this thing is a YouTube killer because um, how easy it is to fly, the unique stuff you can do on it, uh, and that. So I've rambled enough on that. The only thing, I, other thing I want to point out is in the video, I don't, I, I try to show it a little bit, but so I've got a Galaxy Note 5 here that I'm using, and if I slide it into the controllers, which which is pretty tight. One of the problems, let me get it in here. So I've got this in here. You notice it presses the the main button over here. Um, so that that's a that's a problem. So what I did is I actually moved this down if I can get it out because it really grips. So I moved this down to like this, but then what happens is it covers up on, on Android my back button or my return button, which is sometimes required to switch back and forth, especially when it wants you to switch internet connections. So that was a little bit of a, a challenge. So I think what I'm going to do is try to 3D print up some sort of sleeve to go on this end, um, because I'm sort of planning on doing this. Now, one of the other things I wanted to show is I've got this other tablet. Uh, this is an 8-inch, and... Uh, it doesn't fit. I was really hoping to use this tablet with this. So this is an 8-inch Lenovo Tab 3. I might be able to do it like this. I don't know. I haven't tried yet. Um, seems kind of hokey. Also, it's a little bit thicker. So really, this is designed for a phone because this is a fa actually technically a phablet. Um, so anyways, with that, um, I just kind of want to precursor some things here. So let's jump into the video. Again, I'm racing some weather here. This is raw, sort of out of the box. Oh, the other thing I forgot. Other big, very important thing. You notice with me struggling with to get this to take pictures or video? The thing I discovered is, remember in the unboxing I got the brand new card? Uh, you have to go into the DJI Go 4 app and format the card. It wouldn't take the raw card... Um, and it didn't complain adequately enough that the card was unformatted. Once I formatted the card in a later flight, recorded perfectly. So that's the, the problem with that. So if you get it, uh, again, take time to familiarize yourself with the UI of the 4, especially if you're a Go flyer like I am. Um, format the card. Double check your stick configuration. Don't assume that it's going to set the right stick configurations. Highly suggest leaving it in beginner's mode um, to kind of get the feeling. Uh, the wind that you'll see in this video was pretty good. My Phantom 3 wouldn't have a big problem with it, but obviously this is a lot smaller than a Phantom 3. So let's cut over that flight video and check it out. A lot more videos coming on this. If you have something specific you'd like to see or know, hit me up in the comments below. Be happy to do it. Cheers. Okay, welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We got a little bit of weather blowing in, but I want to try to see if I can get a first flight in on the uh, DJI Spark. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to get a shot. So, uh, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can arm this and take this up. And there we go. So it's holding its own. I want to do a little bit of a walk around. A lot of people ask why I do the walk around. And basically I'm looking for a little bit of like the anomalies you see it kind of being buffeted right there. Is I kind of like to take a look at what's going on. And then one of the things RJ Make mentioned that I should probably do is do a bit of a yaw test. Yawing it in uh, each direction. Now that's a full yaw stick right there. And there is a full yaw back. Now, one of the things I have this set in beginner mode. So um, I want to think. I, I think I'm starting recording. I want to start recording. Uh, start recording. Okay, so it should start recording my screen. Uh, unfortunately, this thing is flipped around and uh, with regards to... with regards to stick orientation. 
Uh, this thing is sort of fast, so let's let's bump it up and uh, let's bump it up a little bit more. Take it out over that fence. I don't want to go too far. This is my first flight with it, so apparently I've roughly hit about the. Uh, eh, no, I don't think I've hit the end of it. Um, I can't tell if I'm recording or not. I can't really tell if I'm recording. Let's see. I think. Oh, I think I need to go to movie. And uh, it's it's uh, buffeting. I don't know if you can hear the wind. It's it's buffeting the wind pretty good. Ah, uh, wrong stick. So I want to bring it back this way. And. Uh, again, uh, we got a we got a pretty good wind going on. It's actually not doing too bad for the wind being the size. It's uh, it's actually gusting pretty good, and it's uh, holding its own. I still haven't figured out the recording aspect here. This is different than the um, Phantom Three, and I want to see if I can't move the screen recording over there. Um, because it should be recording. But uh, I also got the sticks flipped around. I'm going to have to look to see how it uh, it does. But uh, again, this, this little guy is being buffeted pretty heavily by these winds. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised by how much it's actually being impacted by the wind. So... Uh, Let's yaw it out and take it out, take it out this way a little bit. Again, I got it in beginner mode, so it's uh, it's it's operating pretty light, you know, to the stick. So I've got it at a full stick there, and it's sort of hovering. I'm yawing it around, so you can see me back here. I guess this is the thing. I can't really read what's on the screen it's so tiny even with my glasses and the glare that's one of the problems with all this just watching making sure no cars or anybody's coming and again I want to make sure I beat this weather uh, wow it's I tell you what it's hard to see uh, compared to my other ones uh, I was hoping the yellow would be a little bit easier to see but it, when I was just looking at that tree it actually got lost in that tree, so I had to walk over here to get this perspective of it. And well, we just fly it around. And we'll fly it down this way a little bit. You know, one of the things, I, I'm already really liking this from the aspect, um, so far, you know, it seems to be easy flying. Now, I watched another YouTuber, he put it in sport mode, because this is definitely not sport mode. But one of the things I like about this is how easy this thing really is to fly. Um, it's probably one of my easiest flying drones, so far at least. I mean, this is the first flight. But, oh, do you see that wind catch that, that gust of wind? She is definitely, especially with these prop guards, I think the prop guards make it a little bit more susceptible to the wind uh, than, than maybe without. But, uh, again, since I'm uh, first flight with it and everything, I want to see how it performs with the prop guards on it. And let's let's bring it down. Let's punch it up. Not much of a punch up in beginner mode. I'm just trying to get the uh, a handle on it with regards to 
its performance characteristics of moving up and down. I, I thought I set the sticks to, to standard mode, and so this is why I'm a little bit cautious because the sticks are, are a bit reversed, so I'm using throttle to go forward and backwards. So I think, um, I think it wants to land, so... Land okay. So we're going to bring it down. It's landing. I've set the auto land. I didn't do a return to home because it's okay to land where it's at. And it's coming down. It's coming down. And it's sat down. So anyways, uh, not too bad for a first flight. I want to turn off the screen recording here. And so we stopped the screen recording. Um, again, I'm going to have to sort out a few more things uh, as to what some of these controls, because the um, the controls on this are a little bit different than on my Phantom 3 and what I'm used to on the controls for this. So that'll take a little bit of getting used to. Uh, the controls are very comfortable in your hands like this. So, uh, not much issue there. The one thing I did uh, discover is the, uh, this button. Um, this thing, if I, if I push it all the way up, let me see if I can get this. So if I push this all the way up, you see it all pushes on the button, which is uh, kind of crazy. And so that, that definitely creates some issues. So I have to push it down and... Uh, uh, kind of situated a little bit like that, which is okay. Now I'm using uh, I'm using an old uh, what am I using? Uh, Galaxy Note 5, an old Note 5. The screen size isn't too bad. I've also got a Note 3, and uh, but the the 5 is definitely a bigger screen, and, and with my eyes, I definitely need it. And that's one of the the big problems all the time with this is getting a big enough screen, and then also dealing with the glare. There's almost no glare out here today, but yet. Um, it really is a little bit hard to deal with. You can hear the thunderstorm rolling in, so I think I made it just in time. So, uh, anyways, um, I'm going to give this a thumbs up. So far, I'm really happy with it. I'm going to have to figure this out, do some adjustments on it, maybe read the book, instructions a little bit more. Uh, but so far, hey, thumbs up. I really like how this flies. I'll have links to this below and probably a card up there. And if you're interested, hit it up. Um, so far, pretty happy. Cheers. See you in the next video.